Gerard Puana was persecuted for years as a central figure in the Kealoha criminal conspiracy. And now he's won a settlement with the city for what he and his deceased mother went through. Gina Mangieri spoke one-on-one -on -one with Puana, Catherine Kealoha's uncle. Puana tells me it's about justice, not about the money. But he says everyone should heed what he went through as a red flag about public corruption. While the Kealohas and their accomplices were held to account in federal court in a conspiracy that involved a family financial dispute and a frame job over a stolen mailbox, a civil suit dragged on for years alongside the criminal case that put the Kealohas behind bars. A suit alleging civil rights violations and abuse of power when Louis Kealoha was chief at HPD. I don't feel safe with HPD uh, because of the, uh, the chief, you know, and uh, what I've been going through, I was being followed every day. I was threatened on the H3. Just this week, a settlement was reached in which the city will pay Gerard Puana and the estate of his deceased mother, Florence Puana, $2.85 million. Always Investigating spoke with Gerard today. How did that make you feel? It made me feel fantastic. I was, I was elated. And mom, you know, of course, she's... Uh, it was all about justice. It wasn't about the financial part of it, you know. It, to mother and I, it was always about justice. And they're in a uh, federal prison. So, job, job done, yeah. Check, <laughs> check please. We spoke near the courthouse where Catherine had Puana transferred and detained for questioning by her after engineering an arrest in a parking dispute with neighbors. From here, Catherine forced him into a treatment center. Incarceration followed. How unconventional is that here at this place? That's not protocol at all. That's not protocol. Absolutely not. No. But so what, what is that the Kalos did, right? Florence Puana, Catherine's grandmother, passed away at the age of 100 within a year of the Kealoha's conviction. I lost my mother. That's the, that's the thing. Mom, she was my everything. So the settlement can't give everything back? No, no, not at all. But it's, it was never about financially. It was not that. It was about justice. During the federal investigation of the Kealoha's, they spoke only to always investigating. Gerard says their behavior is a red flag for all to be on the lookout for public corruption. I'm really glad that you did that interview with the creepy dolls in the background, yeah, because uh, we have it on, it's documented. That, that's how good of liars they were. They were narcissistic, pathological liars. You know, so uh, good job. Very good job. Gerard said he still believes in the system that ultimately exposed the Kealohas and brought criminal and now civil consequences to bear, and he thinks the police department has cleaned up. Gerard just recently got the first restitution payments from the Kealohas ordered by the court years ago. Have the Kealohas ever sincerely apologized to you? Uh, just in court that day, when they were sentenced, uh, I wouldn't look at Catherine, and I was sitting behind of Lewis. The settlement is pending city council approval. The city tells me it resolves all known Puana claims against anyone in the city. A federal case is still pending for three top-ranking former city officials who crafted Lewis's HPD severance payment. The city has repeatedly denied Kealoha requests for legal defense in their criminal and civil cases. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.